There's only about 100 different kinds of bacteria that actually cause bacterial infections. Yet we have thousands of different species in and on us living on our bodies. They help our brain develop, they help our gut develop, they help our immune system develop. And when you take them out of the equation, we realize this doesn't happen. Then we started to see this rise in obesity and allergies and asthma and autism and ADHD and you know, you pick your disease. Some of the really important things child studies found is the relationship of the gut bacteria to asthma. For example, we know that children who get more antibiotics, they have higher risk of asthma. Children born by cesarean section have higher risk of asthma. Kids who live on farms have a lower risk of asthma. So when you start putting all those elements together, one of the common themes there is actually the bacteria that live inside us. We equal we and our microbes. It's not just two separate things. It's just like another organ that we have. So we want to think about the health of your child and his or her microbes. My daughter, Eleanor, she was in a very dangerous position for delivery. So we had a scheduled cesarean delivery with her, uh, which was not what I wanted. Just prior to Eleanor's delivery, we did a vaginal swab and collected the bacteria. And then just after she was born, we swabbed her eyes, ears, nose, and mouth to transfer the bacteria that she would have received had she been born vaginally. C. difficile is an infection caused by taking antibiotics. So if you treat with antibiotics, you maybe cure 20% of it. If you do a fecal transfer, you put feces from one person healthy into another person, you got a 94% cure rate. You want some? Our grandparents had much better microbes than we do now. We've gone to this sanitized version of life. We want our food sterile and clean. We want our hands washed every time we go into any building. You're greeted with a hand sanitizer. We're depriving our bodies from this exposure, a healthy exposure of microbes, especially when we're young. Birth is a very messy process. And ironically, this is important. I mean, I jokingly say that the, the best birthday present you ever give your kid is the very first one, and that's this, this big dose of vaginal fecal microbes. Boom, you're born with this. Welcome to the world, kid. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So what's happened to our kids missing microbes? And how do microorganisms that live in their guts affect the chance that they'll get asthma, disease of the lungs, or autism, which is a mental health disorder? More importantly, what can we do about it? In Let Them Eat Dirt, the hunt for our kids missing microbes, we aim to find out. <laughs>